प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी की घोषणा के बाद कोविड के कारण देरी के चलते गगनयान का प्रक्षेपण जो 2022 में पूरा होना था तकनीकी रूप से महत्वपूर्ण परीक्षणों को सफल समापन के बाद 2024 तक होगा इसरो के अध्यक्ष और अंतरिक्ष विभाग के सचिव डॉक्टर एस सोमनाथ ने प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस में ये जानकारी दी वे नागपुर में आयोजित भारतीय विज्ञान कांग्रेस के कार्यक्रम में हिस्सा लेने आए थे इसके बाद उन्होंने मीडिया से बात की पिछले चार वर्षों में हमने महसूस किया है कि पर्यावरण और लाइफ सपोर्ट सिस्टम बहुत महंगे हैं। इसे खरीदने की बजाय इसे भारत में बनाने का फैसला किया गया है किसी भी अप्रिय घटना से बचने के लिए चार रद्द किए गए मिशनों का परीक्षण किया जाना है ताकि चालक दल बिना जान गवाए मिशन पर सुरक्षित लौट सके उसके बाद मानो कुए में परीक्षण के बाद दो में गगन के प्रक्षेपण की घोषणा की जाएगी the issue of geopolitics emerging in space sector is is very important i think it is you are all observing we are also observing see uh, it has its own implications in uh, various uh, equations that are emerging the tie ups and uh, engagement that are emerging but for the nation india we have only one goal to make our nation stronger there is only one goal so uh, our technology of space is uh, whatever we have developed in the last 60 years is very important for all of us i think we you i don't have to restate it it has civilian use it has uh, use in various other domains as well which include strategic use the the whole of the the geopolitical situation is centered around this and uh, this dialogue how much is the engagement in the strategic sector how our space sector is going to play so here uh, traditionally we have been very friendly with everybody i think that you are very aware of it we have been working in the during the cold war time working with russia working with the us working with france japan in bringing space technology to india and we got immensely benefited by the engagement with all of them and we continue to remain like that we want to, we want to tell all of them that we have a well defined program in space sector and we would like to engage with everybody and we work on engaging writing mous and having scientific plans with all the nations who have active space programs and this includes us where we are working for example i will tell you we are working with on nisr we are working on all engagement with all our chandrayaan aditya l1 and future Mar- mars mission etc we work with russia earlier in the great developing cryogenic technology and also applications we continue to engage for gaganyaan program even we work with japan on working out on future uh, um, exploration of moon we have a program called lupex which is landing on the moon using a uh, developing joint working program we engage with uh, france in a big manner over the years we have developed multiple satellites with them we will work on this option for our future scientific missions uh, of uh, satellites deployment of course we work on technology side we have our engines development etc etc so we work with all those powerful space agencies over the past so what is happening outside it doesn't affect us i want to tell you essentially the meaning is we have take our own stand we tell all of them that we would like to work with you we don't separate them each other in space domain we are all working together so we are ensuring our strategic autonomy of space It is the the policy of the government and they have been maintaining it throughout. भारतीय अंतरिक्ष नीति की बात करें तो फरवरी 2022 में अंतरिक्ष नीति के पहले मसौदे पर चर्चा हुई थी अंतरिक्ष विभाग ने इसके बाद मसौदा प्रधानमंत्री कार्यालय को भेज दिया उसके अनुसार जल्द ही अंतरिक्ष नीति को लेकर नीति की घोषणा किए जाने की संभावना है एस सोमनाथ इन्होंने कहा की वह कैबिनेट में जाने ऐसी पहले प्रधानमंत्री कार्यालय सम्बन्धित विभागों और मंत्रालय ऐसी विचार विमर्श करेंगे कैमरा पर्सन अखिलेश भारद्वाज के साथ क्षितिजा देशमुख बी न्यूज नागपुर